Today, I'm going to show you how a speech live typist can leverage speech live speech attacks. So let's go ahead and get a audio file going. I'm going to be using the speech live mobile app and act as an author to send it over to my assistant. Let's go ahead and start that. As you can see on the screen here, I'm going ahead and creating a title. Done. And let's go ahead and do that quick recording. Dear John, comma, new paragraph, it is stipulated and agreed upon the counsel of both parties that the deposition of Henry Ford, comma, is hereby taken under Article 1421 of the New York Code of Civil Procedure in accordance with law notice, period, new paragraph, thanks, comma, new line, Kevin. Once I'm done here, I'm going to go ahead and press in the check mark below and send it off to my assistant. And it is all sent. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to happen on the typist side. Log in as a typist. Just going to refresh here. And as you can see on the screen here, we have that audio file. So from this point on, all we need to do, check mark the audio file, send it for speech recognition. Going to go ahead and put it for English here and press OK. Once this is done, it is queued for speech recognition. Give that a few seconds here. All done. As you can see with the transcript on this part there, we can be able to download it. And once that's finished, I can click on it. And as you can see, pretty much on this screen here is exactly on the documentation that I have dictated. So once again, I can be able to not only record from my mobile app, but send it over to my assistant. And with the new SpeechLive web interface, I was able to ping it for speech recognition and take a look at the documentation in real time. Have a great day.